Hey guys, what's up? This is Ali here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to <clears throat> use and install Forge Essentials, which is a very it's a, it's a must install or must use mod. That's what I'm going to say. It is a mod in its very very early stages. Um <clears throat> it's in its alpha stage, I believe so. Uh, it has been released about, I don't know, I want to say about two weeks ago, maybe, maybe more, I don't know, I checked it out about two weeks ago. Um, they they add more fun functionality or more features, I guess, every day um, to it. Uh, now, what makes this mod special than any other mod that uses Minecraft Forge out there today, right now, that is recommended, um, this one is using world edit and world guard um which are coded and developed by sk89q himself and the team which work with him so uh i believe the the whole world edit team are helping forge essentials the developers um add world edit into Minecraft or, or it's forge essentials uh world edit and world guard that is um Right now, they already use World Edit, but very little um, features, I guess. There's not really that much you can do with World Edit. So, I'm going to show you very quickly. So, first of all, to download it, you need to go to Google and then just uh, type in Forge Essentials, um, and then it should be like the fourth one. If you scroll down a bit, you're going to see um, two links. One that leads you to the GitHub, which I believe is where they're going to like let you download recommended builds and the other one which is the finals.minecraftforge.net for slash forge essentials which allows you to <coughs> get all the latest builds um so yeah so yeah so um so you can download since again this is in its very uh, very early stages it uh, it does have a lot of bugs, or if not bugs, then it doesn't have that much features at all. Um, one thing I recommend you do is back up your world every time you install a new one, just in case anything happens, you never know. Um, so yeah, so just download the latest one, I already have one downloaded and installed. So I'm going to minimize out of here. And I am going to... Uh, yeah, so basically... You get the file, so for example, I think, yeah, I have it here, so I'm just gonna copy. So, all you need to do after you download it, just click and drag it into the mods folder, and then um, just click and drag it into the mods, and it should install. Run your server, and this, this folder should generate. Now, I believe there isn't any configs, nope, nothing at all. So, it's only this folder that has all the files that can be changed. Um, so yeah commands and then we're gonna start with commands there's a couple things i'll get to in a second um but first of all let us um launch our minecraft let it load up a bit and let's start so yeah the commands so um what one thing forge essentials does is back up your world i believe so 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 okay um so yeah this is just where you uh, tell it how to, how it's gonna name the file and where it should store the um backups and there are rules so if I was to go in here very quickly type four slash four slash rules. Okay, um, you can see there's a, let me run it again, there, thank you, okay, so, um, there's the rules list, I have a nice little, um, header and footer kind of thing, and, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you my rules file in a second, um, but yeah, so this is the rules, what, what the file is gonna be called, and this is the message of the day now I don't believe it shows any messages of the day um let me just fly up or actually rather just turn off the sound um so there is no messages of the day that seem to work unless you type message of the day um so 
Yes, so you can change this to whatever you want. So welcome to um, my server, and then just save it, close, and that is pretty much the the file. Now this is the rules file that it generates. If the um, game loads up or the server rather loads up and there isn't this file, it's gonna automatically generate it for you. Now this is my file right over here. Uh, if you want to use colors, then you gotta use the I don't know what it's called, but it's a very weird SS double S symbol kind of thing. Um, you can find it on the Minecraft codes. Let me actually show you. Re oops, uh, very quickly. Um, Wiki.net. And if we go to. Uh, oh, that wasn't a good idea. Let me try that again. Minecraft. Oops. Uh, Minecraft color codes. Um. I believe it should be there. Yeah, there you go. Just uh, copy paste this little double S um, symbol you can see right here as well. Uh, copy, take it over here, just do your rules, things, and you are done for that part at least. You can get out of here, go in the permissions. Now, the permissions, um, I don't really know how it works exactly, but I believe it does have to, or it does um, work with zones and stuff. Now, I don't believe it works with um well it does say chat but it doesn't seem to work i've tried it a lot of times but there was no luck with it working again this is in the alpha stages so i'm not moaning about anything i'm just saying it didn't work for me maybe um it isn't supposed to work like the way i'm trying to do it uh, or maybe it does i'm just failing like i always do uh but yeah, so these are the permission files that I'm not going to get into these that much. I'm not sure what this one is for. It's probably for something. Uh, there's the chat. Again, this is like the chat prefix and the message things and such. You can see, um, you can see like all the things you can use. So colors, for example, you can see these colors or these colors or um the kind of variables that you can use for like to get the message or the player's name stuff like that um the next one is the core okay so um yeah so okay so this is where all the good things happen well not really good but um yeah just yeah uh the the mod list again well actually no not again just to make sure of the um uh just to make sure the if the mod is working correctly, you can actually type mod list and it should uh, show you a list of the mods. Yeah. So um yeah, that is it. Okay, so that is the mod list where it's gonna store all the mods that are currently installed. Now I believe you have to delete the file um because it didn't work for me, so I had to delete this mod list and uh, reinstall it again to get all the mods um so yeah uh the amount of time so this one has teleportation commands um i believe it's well not tp i don't think it is or is it ftp Ooh. feed the paste okay <laughs> then i said that um anyways uh, yeah, so uh, these are t teleport things, and then you got this. Ad again, you don't really need to worry about this. This is like debugging. Um, just set, just don't change this unless you know what you're doing. Um, again, same goes for this part. Do not, do not change it unless you, f you know what you're doing. Um, the modules. So these are where you, um, change like or I mean add or. Uh, remove the modules such as the chat or the commands economy now I personally don't want the economy thing um, yeah because I'm not looking for like an RPG kind of server now, then you can have this to true and you can have this to true I guess and then just close it that's it you're done and the, these are where all the mods are oops these are where all the mods are stored I didn't know it actually stores links, but I guess it does. That's cool. That's cool. 
the world control. Now, um, there isn't much to this file, but let me get in game and we can talk about this part in a second. So, um, one of the commands, again, if you have used world edit, then you, you might be familiar with some of these commands. But I, um, need to clear out this part. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. If you were to type, uh, for slash fear slash, uh, POS1, it would select an area um, where you are looking but uh, right now again uh, because it's in the alpha so there are a couple of bugs if I was to do PS1 it would give me this error message but if I was to do it on a block that I'm looking at that is in range then it would work I believe yep you see it works uh, now again I'm guessing they are gonna fix this later just because that isn't how it works in world edit now uh, I don't think they're gonna copy world edit exactly. I really hope they do since I'm really um, used to world edit. So uh, yeah. So anyways, that is not important. I'm gonna go up here a bit, and I'll show you what this uh, blocks patik does. So I am going to four slash four slash pos two. Make sure it's one word. And there you go, I got my selection done. That is pretty much all you need to do to get your selection. Now, what can you do in your selection? Um, I could do something like replace near. Oh, I mean replace, sorry. And you can type the block you want to replace. So, I want to type 31, which is the tall grass. As you can see, I don't like tall grass. And I'm going to replace it with air. And that's pretty much it. Now, you, you might have not noticed that the... Uh, you might have seen it that it all went very quickly. Um, but yeah, let me show you in a big area. It's not going to go in... It's not going to do it instantly. It's actually going to do blocks. Um, 20 blocks per tick. Uh, so yeah. So let's do set to 1. You see? I think that is... Ta-ta! Awesome! I think that is awesome because actually, you know, I'm actually going to try this with you guys right now. Let's try this. So I'm going to type. Okay, it works. I can type. Now let's try and type something. You see, it doesn't hold the, the, the server back. So you can, you can type. You can type help. You can do everything and you can still do... Um, you can change blocks. Now, this is a really, really good feature, especially if you are, like, running a server with a lot of people, and obviously mods are really buggy, and they can crash your world, um, just by being disabled for a couple seconds, so, yeah, so this, this mod really helps with the new world edit feature that allows you to set blocks per tick, now I am going, actually, no, I can't really change, actually, yeah, I can, I'm just gonna undo, and I am going to get down here, get it to connect. I'm gonna set this to 100. I want to show you the difference. So this should, if I'm correct, do it three times faster. Or oh, I mean five times. Sorry, excuse me. Fails. Um, load up the server. Load up the game and. I changed it to a hundred blocks per tick. Now, if you guys don't know, a tick is there are twenty ticks in every second. So, if I do my maths correctly, then uh, I could change a thousand blocks in I don't know second or wait what? No, yeah, yeah, in a second, yeah. Anyway, so we are gonna. Um, that one yeah see okay whoa that went so fast you saw that okay so there is a really big improvement now let me just do this okay so let's try and set again so you can see it's very very quick uh did not take any time at all now again i did do uh a hundred uh, blocks per tick now if you're running on a small server or yeah server that doesn't have that much players Then it wouldn't really lag the server that much if you had a hundred blocks per tick But I guess you get the whole point of what 
this um, mod actually, or the, the the whole config thing that does. So there's not really much I can tell you guys about this mod anymore. That's pretty much it. Now uh, let's set it to 57. Oh, lovely! Give me that. It's amazing, and since it's a mod, a client. Well, not actually, no, it's not a client mod. It's a mod, well, yeah, I want to say it's not a client mod, but it actually um, can use client things. So you can see, uh, you can see, like, there's, like, uh, let's see, like, yeah, like that. You can see the blocks are actually placed in one by one. Now, I'm, not, I, I, I'm guessing this is actually doable on a bucket plugin, but um, I guess you'd need to do way more code than this one. What's this? Oh no! Oh, okay. That's just a normal bug. But yeah, so uh, there's not much I can show you guys. Oh, actually, I can. Let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. So there's a <coughs> piece of bacon here. I'm gonna type remove and tada! It removes entities. So if your world is lagging because let's say bottle. Give me a bottle, please. Okay, so we're gonna spam this place with a lot of experience. Now, if you don't know, if you have a million of these, your server would be crashed. But well, it would have crashed by now. So, too much XP orbs remove, and none of them got removed. I guess this hasn't actually been added, which is which has which needs to be added rather. Um, so. Yeah, I guess it only works with blocks right now, but obviously it has to work with XP orbs because that is one thing that can lag the server. So uh, remove and shabam. Yeah, that is it. That is it's done, and you installed and got to know about how to use uh, Forge Essentials. If there are any questions you guys have, please leave them down in the comment section below. I will try and answer them as much as possible. Again, this is in the alpha, so uh, if you do manage to find any bugs, please just report them in. There's a uh, a um, a uh, IRC channel uh, which is hashtag force uh, forge essentials, and you guys can just. Uh, help uh, ask for help I mean or either help out actually that would be really great I guess but um yeah thank you guys for watching bye bye